this video I'm going to be showing you how to properly trim your dog's nails. So there's a few different tools you're going to need. Um, the first one is some scissors. I just have some straights here to cut away the long hair. Um, it's really, if you use a Dremel, it's possible that the long hair will get wrapped up in the Dremel, so you'll want to cut away the really long hair first. And speaking of which, one of the other tools is the Dremel. Um, I highly recommend using this one. Um, the dogs are much more welcome to this one than the clippers um, because you can gradually take away the nail. And also, with this one, you can leave a rounded tip. Um, the other option is the clippers here. Um, this one, it's a really sharp edge because it just clips away the whole nail. And this one's really risky because it's really easy to cut too close and get there quick. Um, I have had it happen before, unfortunately and the dogs will remember it and they will not like this tool again. So it's really risky to use this one. Um, not a pleasurable experience if you do happen to cut it too short. Um, regardless of which one you use, I would make sure to have some quick stop powder close by. In case you do cut it too short, this one will stop the bleeding really fast. Um, an alternative is actually using super glue as well. So introducing your dog to either tool, um, it's the easiest way is to do it as a puppy, that way they grow up getting used to it. Also it's good to get them used to on a grooming table. If you don't have a grooming table, um, you could also like do it on your couch, but it's not as secure. And if this is the first time that you're introducing these tools to your dog and they're an adult dog, they might not take it very well. So what I would recommend doing is just turning on the Dremel first so they get used to the sound and then giving them some treats. And if they respond well to that, then you can go ahead and start to just touch them with the Dremel while it's on so they get used to the vibration. And then after that, you will actually start Dremeling the nail. Um, so do a little bit at first. And the important thing is, if they start to pull away or uh, move around a lot, just take the Dremel away from their nail. Don't turn it off. Just take it away. Keep a hold of their foot and wait for them to calm down. If you drop the foot, turn the clipper off, walk away, or the, turn the grinder off and walk away, then they've learned that that behavior gets them out of the session that you're doing. So they learn the bad behavior. You don't want them to do that. You want to wait until they calm down, and then you can turn it off, let go of their foot. Um, you're basically just going to repeat this until you can successfully Dremel their nail without them freaking out. And then you're going to give them a lot of praise, a lot of treats, whatever they think are high value. And you're going to continue doing this until you can do the whole foot, um, all the nails at once. So the position I'm sitting in is actually the position I dremel the nails. Um, I would only do this on your own dog or dogs you're comfortable with because you are really close to their face. If you're at a grooming shop, grooming unknown dogs, I would definitely not do this in case they don't like it. Um, but anyways, what I normally do is I hold the paw here, I actually put my elbow, like pull the whole foot forward, put my elbow on their chest. That way it's really hard for them to pull back. This is a really strong hold for people. So I'll hold the nail, or hold the foot like this, push back the hair, and then start to dremel. It's also very important for ladies, or some men if you have long hair, to put your hair up, or at least put it on the other side. I have had, had it happen before that the hair gets caught and this thing will go all the way up to your skull. Not fun. So make sure your hair is out of the way. You gotta hold your dog, your dog's secure, then you can start to Dremel. So I'll do a few examples in this position just so you can see, and then I'll move to a closer view so you can actually see what I'm doing on the nail. So I actually skipped a step there. I forgot to trim his long hairs on his feet. So I'm going to do that real quick. And normally you want to do the nails before you trim the dog's feet. So don't get super close with this and you're going to clean it up after with thinning shears. So I just get, I touch the nail with my scissors and just trim that long hair off. That way it's not going to accidentally get wrapped up in the grinder. So now we can go back to grinding. So 
now I'll switch to another view so you can see it close up. So I've got the foot here. I'm in the position to Dremel. And basically the way I'm holding the foot is I have my pointer finger on the pad of the toe I'm trying to Dremel and then my thumb is pulling back the hair so I can see the nail. And you're actually going to trim, I mean pinch the foot a little bit to kind of bring the toe forward. You can see me pinch it there, it brings it forward. That way you can really see all the nail. And the part we want to Dremel off is just the white. So you can kind of see, hopefully in his nail here, um, there's like a white tip and then it starts to get darker. That's where the quick is. So we want to Dremel all the way to that without um, getting too close to the quick. The closest you get, the more the quick will start to recede and you can get a shorter and shorter nail. Um, so basically I got the position here. He's being a little butthead because I'm holding his foot too long. But that's okay. Um, so I've got my, his foot here. Pinching the toenail, I'm going to start to Dremel now. So if you have a trained dog and they start to pull away, it might be a sign that um, you're Dremeling too close and, or it might be getting hot. So I'll take that as a sign just to check. You can actually touch the tip of the toenail and feel if it's hot or not and touching it will um, transfer some of the heat as well. So there I've got a rounded tip of his nail um, gotten cl close enough to the tip, the quick that I want. Um, that's basically it. Just keep up with it so you can have nice short nails that are really good for the dog. Thanks for watching.